Tension spiked in Hong Kong on Sunday afternoon as police fired tear gas at thousands of the protesters who had gathered outside the government headquarters to send a loud message to Beijing about its controversial plan for universal suffrage in the former British colony. Democracy activists inside the main protest area scrambled to escape as soon as they saw the tear gas canisters flying through the air towards them. The area had been calm for much of Sunday as volunteers handed out food and water. Demonstrators spent much of the day waiting patiently to see when the police would act. One of the few incidents was the arrest of a trainee dim sum chef for allegedly attacking a police officer. Many of the protesters are students who have been camped out beside the government building since Friday, following a week-long civil disobedience campaign. People here, they are peaceful, and they, they just want to voice out their opinions. Like, we want to our chief executive, C.Y. Lair, to come out, to talk to us, not just stay in the building, you know, to face the students. Yeah, too. We want to is tell him what we think. But the size and the scale of the protests over the weekend caused Occupy Central to bring forward their plans to block one of Hong Kong's main business districts with peaceful protests on October 1st. I don't think uh, we should look at democracy movement as a battle. It is a war. As long as the spirit of democracy is alive, we are not and we will not be defeated. And I think it is very important at this juncture of time of, of our history to say no to a fake democracy proposed by Beijing and so that people can keep the spirit of democracy alive. Ching Chong is a veteran China watcher who spent several years in the Chinese prison for allegedly spying for Taiwan. The problem here is not whether we have more democracy or not. The problem is that whether we are going to accept something fake. I think mean, this is a better principle. If they are going to give us something which is false, which is fake, we are not, simply we are going to reject it. We are not going to accept something that, uh, that, that, that they claim is, is right, which in fact is a, a, a false one. Jimmy Lai has been a thorn in the side of China for many years because of his anti-Beijing and the Well, we don't expect them to get back down, but we have to. We have to, to insist our civil disobedience. If we don't persist or resist, there's no hope. If we just give up, there's no hope. At least there's some hope. What do you think is, what, when do you think the police are going to come in and try and... Later, later today. Following the tear gas attack, the students and other democracy activists moved their protest from just outside Civic Square to Tamar Park on the edge of Victoria Harbour. But while the protesters inside the cordoned area have moved to a safer place for now, the Hong Kong government has sent in reinforcements as the throngs of demonstrators in Admiralty show no sign of heading home anytime soon. Dimitri Sevastopilo, Financial Times, Hong Kong.